nasty to be thinking about that right now. I mean, we could use some, some rainy weather here, though. So, I mean, every time we see that, right, I feel like we kind of get left out a little bit. Because this actually system that you were just looking at there. Mm -hmm. Is making that, us wet? That, no, that's the one we had that moved through. That's what gave us these winds. We're on the back side of this system. Good. It moved through, gave us, for us, it was a little spit. That's all we got. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, that's a slap in the face, that's, too. That's <laughs> sorry. Well, there you are. Adding Spin insult in the to eye. injury. <laughs> all right, Thank take a look. you, Josh. Anytime there, Pat. Uh, Long Beach, did I just get you there right in the face there? Uh, yeah. I just oh, wipe that down. Uh, okay. <laughs> Long Beach is where we are. We've got 61 degrees right now. As far as our temperatures go, today we were up a bunch from where we were yesterday. Yesterday only topping out at 63. Today, 73, 72 degrees. So almost 10 degrees warmer, but that's about where we should be for this time of year. We're going to continue that trend and we are going to warm up for the rest of the week. Van Nuys Airport right now, we're at 74 degrees, a sustained wind at about nine miles an hour. But look at the gusts, 36 mile an hour gusts in just the last hour. So still dealing with some of those winds, even though our advisories have expired. Hour by hour, we've got temperatures into the 60s overnight tonight, 50s. And by tomorrow morning, we'll see about 51 degrees, 66 as we head towards the lunch hour. But tomorrow, we are expecting those temperatures to pop up pretty quickly. Later in the day, we should be near 80 degrees. As I said, 72 was the high today. 73 is where we should be for this time of year. So this was kind of a garden variety November fall day here in the Southland. What do we have going out? We've got this offshore flow. Very common to get these switches here, these systems pushing through Southern California, bringing us gusty winds. And in the wake of those gusty winds, we see some warm temperatures. They're inside sliders. So as the winds come out of the north and the northeast, the air compresses and warms us up here in the basin and the valley below. So we move inland. What are you expecting tonight? Clear skies, no wind. That means cold temperatures. So our temperatures are going to drop down into the 30s and the 20s for the high desert, all the way from Lancaster, which is right over there, to Victorville, which is right over here. It's going to be cold in the high desert. And even away from the high desert, we're going to see temperatures into the 40s. We've got this cold air mass in place, so our temperatures will be on the cool side tonight for us throughout much of the area. But eventually, high pressure building in will help to warm us up as we make our way into the rest of the week. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're looking at temperatures into the 80s. Uh, Pat had asked if she could wear some, uh, you know, a little more spring clothing for the end of the week, and I think you can. I, everybody's been wanting to wear the boots and the leather. Now it's back to that. Uh, 44 <laughs> Rialto. I do fashion as well. Uh, temperatures into the 40s out by the beach, 30s for the high desert. You see 29 in Palmdale, so pretty cool out there. Our, our daytime highs is getting into the 70s and some 80s for tomorrow, so a little bit warmer. Should be nice out there. And here's your forecast over the next seven days 78, 82 degrees, 80 on Friday. A little bit cooler on Saturday and Sunday. Maybe some rain by Thanksgiving. We'll see. Back to you. Thank you, Mr. Blackwell.